Hey guys, this is Cave Jr. Anyway, so right now we're going to talk about the Missouri Compromise. The Missouri Compromise dealt with the sectional struggle over slavery. See, you remember when we talked about sectionalism? Sectionalism is that zealous or over-the-top uh, love for one's part of the country. Now, there are three sections within the United States, the North, the South, and the West. You had industry in the North and the East, and you had slavery in the, in the South. Now, before the Missouri Compromise, you had 11 free states and 11 slave states, which was perfect. Not one side could overpower the other. For instance, if the uh, slave states wanted to pass a law to hurt industry in the North, they would go to Congress and somebody would say, hey, anyone want to pass a law to hurt industry in the, in the North? And you'd have 11 slave states raise their hand, yes, we do. And you'd have 11 uh, Northeastern states says, no, we don't. A balance. You couldn't pass laws to hurt the other side. Now, keep that in mind. Just so you know, if there's a certain amount of people in a certain area, you could apply to become a state at that time. Remember, we're adding all of this land uh, west of the Mississippi River, right? The Louisiana Purchase. And we also had some unexplored land between the um, uh, Mississippi River and the Appalachian Mountains. And people are starting to kind of go over into these areas, and you had to have rules. When do you become a state? Well, like I said, a certain amount of people, certain area, you could become a state. Now, it was a good thing for territories to want to become a state because they, got, they benefit in three different ways. They could get federal tax money for roads and police and other things like that. They could get military protection from the American Indians. Think about it. All these white people are coming out west, and the American Indians are saying, hey, they didn't treat us very well before. We're pretty sure we don't trust them to treat us very well now. So the Indians kind of revolted and pushed back on the white settlers. Um, and becoming a state, the U.S. military would come out to protect them. Also, if you were a state, citizens could vote. That means more power, right? Four ways, or I'm sorry, three ways to improve your situation in life. And politics. Boom. Anyway, so Missouri looks around one day and they go, hey, we have a certain amount of people in a certain area. I know we should become a state. And so what they do is they look around. And they look around and they test the soil and they look at the climate and they look how much rainfall there is. And they say, you know what? We have the perfect situation to grow cotton and to grow tobacco. You know what we should do? Let's apply to be a slave state. So they go to Washington, D.C. and uh, they apply to become a slave state. Well, when uh, Congress gets together, they're all excited. Hey, hear ye, hear ye, everyone. Uh, Missouri wants in as a state. What kind? What kind? They went in as a slave state. You had 11 slave states cheer. Yeah! And you had 11 northern states or free states. Oh, what are we going to do? Because eventually, if you had way more slave states or way more free states, then that balance of power would tip. And if the balance of power would tip, then one side could vote to hurt the other. Remember, they don't like each other very much. Thus, the need for a compromise. More tomorrow in class. Peace. Oh, peace.